Hey peeps. All right, so I am getting ready to leave town. I'm going on a wonderful trip over to Cambodia. And I've wanted to make a video for a while and I haven't made this video. And uh, basically, what do I take and what's in my camera bag? It is extensive, it's exhaustive. I'm doing YouTube videos over there um, for some different individuals. And so this little bag is a treasure trove of miscellaneous things. But there are reasons for the things that I have. So let's do a quick little um, what's in your bag. So let's get to it. Let's go over some stuff real quick. So while I'm traveling in, in other parts of countries and, and I'm going and I'm running and gunning and I'm doing YouTube videos, I found some things that I needed to have in my camera bag and this has been accumulated just through the course of time. So everyone's got the normal, you know, the battery backups, you know, it's that you can have, I don't know how many of these I have. Um, everyone has the normal chargers for all of your different batteries. Um, I actually carry flashlights very important. What is different in my camera bag that I think that people don't normally think about? And I think that's important. I love these straps. These are actually like a Velcro related strap that you can you can take and do them in different lengths to do all your cable ties. I always have those with me. Um, also, some crazy things besides, you know, I always have the GoPro, the extra batteries. This was something that out of necessity I started carrying around and it seems something very simple, but something that I used, I've used quite a bit. You actually is a waterproof sealed bag that I've been caught where I needed to go. I didn't know I was gonna get on um, some sort of water raft and be in a water environment. And I was worried about what I had getting wet. I carry this with me and actually you can put a cell phone in here and still touch and it still works in the bag. So that's been something that is like, I, don't, I can't even think how many times I've used this. It's been a lot we would go paddle boarding or we would take a kayak out and I just was felt a little more secure having something that would be watertight. Of course I carry, you know, the chamois and all that other fun stuff. You can already see that I have the drones and all the propellers and the accessories with that. An external light, which is always important even though you don't know the situation you're gonna be in. Um, I've always got a light with me. Uh, this is actually a very cheap light. I think I paid like 15 bucks for this. It runs on batteries, that's the downside to it. Um, because you're always looking for batteries if you're not carrying them with you. So these are just the accessories I keep. And I know it sounds goofy. I always keep a, a just a lock. Um, I found myself in situations where I need to be somewhere and they might uh, give a, a locker, but you are not going to uh, have a way to lock it because they won't give you a lock. And if the lock that they do give you might have its own key. So therefore I felt like I was in the opportunity of somebody having a key and getting in and taking my video equipment. Uh, so what I've done is this, uh, I just started carrying a lock with me, a combo code just in case I needed it. I know it seems really weird. Uh, besides fingernail clippers, uh, just like a little oddity. Here's one of the things that little hacks that I started using quite a bit when I did a video on this where I found this, uh, it's, it's like a Velcro, but it's plastic, it's a hard plastic. And you're like, well, what do I do with these? Well, I carry the portable SSDs, right? So this is ScanDisk SSD, it's 500 gigs. And um, I carry a one terabyte as well with my laptop. But what I found was, is I needed to have a way 
that I could attach it to the laptop. I actually did a video on this. This is my little, my own little hack. So what I did was, is, as you can see, here's a one terabyte drive. And so it's that Velcro stuff on the back. And then I'll, anything that I'm gonna be out in the field doing, I'll snap it on. It actually hooks up. So now I don't have to worry about the wire, you know, in this always falling down and around. It's been actually probably one of my favorite things that I've done. Uh, the other tip that I did um, a video on is, is I also carried this. So this is the RAV Power. Um, it's called the File Hub. And if you can't afford a NAR box, if you don't know what an NAR box is, it allows you in the field when your cards get full, you can actually move your footage over from your card into a device. Well, this device is just a communication device. It works off of basically a Wi-Fi signal that it creates itself. It communicates to your cell phone and it allows you to take your portable SSD and you plug it in. Um, and then after it's plugged in, I did a whole video on this. It's probably one of my favorite little travel hacks. After it's plugged in and you turn it on, you, you put your SSD card in, you can move from the SSD to here, back up your uh, all your footage in the field off of your phone because the phone will tell it to move the files over. And after it's done, everything's now you're all backed up, you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about losing your footage. And that brings me to the next thing. I think one of the major fear factors when you're shooting in another country is theft. So, you know, camera equipment can be replaced, but I was always worried that I was gonna lose my footage. And so if I was gonna lose my footage, then all the time that I took shooting everything was more of a panic for me than anything else. So this became another necessity of a way to back up things. So I also created a day pack. So yeah, I use this big camera bag to haul my stuff around when I'm when I'm traveling, but when I get out and I'm actually, I think I'll do a video on that. I'll show you what I put in my day pack. Um, I'll do that as my next video. So I'll show you what I put in a day pack when I'm in an environment where I worry about theft, where I worry about somebody coming up and, you know, slashing a bag or looking to pickpocket or seeing that I have camera equipment worth a lot of money and using me as an easy target. You don't want to use a bag, you know, these expense, this bag's actually really cheap. Um, you don't want to use a really nice camera bag and stand out. You want to, you want to kind of blend in. And so what I've done is, is I've went minimalistic when I'm out on the field. And I'll show you the bag that I use and why I use it and uh, just some of the research. And it was, it came out of necessity when I traveled to Venice and I knew there was a lot of pickpocketing. And when I was in Israel, I had a lot of fear. I would put the backpack on in front of me like this as we walked through major crowds. And then I had a person behind me and a person in front of me. Um, that was in the group. So I was really concerned about having some of my camera equipment stolen because it, it is what you're there to do. And so if it disappears, eh, a little stress involved. I think of water, I think of locks, I think of zip ties, I think of Velcro, and anything that you need to do to repair things when you're in the field. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff here. When you're thinking drones and batteries and backups and GoPros, but this is how I've uh, just kind of developed it when I'm traveling and what I'm doing in my YouTube videos. I think the next video, I'll show you what my day pack is. But until then, take a look at all this stuff. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Find out, say, Todd, why are you traveling with a multi-plug? Uh, this is invaluable when you're trying to charge a bunch of stuff at once and you only get one outlet. I know it sounds so small, but these are the things that I think about when I've been in these situations. You're in an airport. There's only one outlet, everyone else has got it. So you plug this in, you plug three things in at once. And if I really get, I carry an extension cord. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but this is what you gotta do when you have limited time and a little more space and you're on the road. You have to improvise. So this is what's in my camera bag. So until next time, I'll see you later.